Okay, here is the second gradient problem we're looking at. Below is the gradient field of a function f. What can we say about f? First thing we can say is the same thing as before, that f is a function from r2 to r. It's a real valued function always. The 2 is because this is two-dimensional. This is x, y. The second thing we can see is that all the arrows appear to be coming from 0, 0, but this is not a zero arrow here. Some kind of problem there. You see there's an arrow there. So it looks like it should be a minimum, but it looks like there's also some kind of problem there. So we're looking at some kind of minimum of some kind. We don't exactly know what the deal is there. And the third thing we can see is that all of the vectors are exactly the same length. All of the vectors have the same magnitude. So what does that mean? That means that growth is constant. So let's think about that for a minute. Growth is constant coming out of this point, so it's a straight line. Constant growth comes from linear, from lines. So lines coming out of here. And if they're all lines coming out of there, and they're all growing, this is sitting down there at the, at the bottom point somehow. So we have to think about what that would look like. Let's see what the other direction of the vector field would look like, the one where the vector heads match the magnitude. Here, it seemed to me that this was harder to look at than this, because they're all the same vector heads, because all the vectors are the same magnitude, right? And so maybe this is easier for some people, maybe this is easier for other people, but this, you can still see that there's that problem right there. Why isn't that a zero, it's just a point right there? So let's go see the function, and that tells us what the problem is. This is a cone, right? And it's the function, the square root of x squared plus y squared, which is defined at zero, zero, but has no derivative at zero, zero, right? Because all of these lines are coming like absolute values in there, and so it's sharp down there, and because we're dividing by that square root, that's why this is a bad point here. The function is defined, but the gradient is not defined here, right? The gradient is not defined here, but it still is a minimum, but we would have to do a lot of testing to get it to be that minimum. This is an easy gradient field to check the vector scale because all the vectors are the same length. So let's see what they are in the depiction. Pick a vector, we're gonna pick a nice level vector here and we'll label it V. And we can see that it's about one half the width of that mesh and the mesh is length two. So the magnitude of V down here is one half of 2, which is equal to 1. What is the actual magnitude? The actual magnitude of V, we're not even going to look at what point it's at. We're just going to say they're all the same. Let's see that they're all the same, is the square root of first component squared, so x squared, square root squared, nothing down there, plus second component y squared over x squared plus y squared and we can see where this is going this is x squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared equal to 1. So what is the vector scale? The vector scale is 1 divided by 1 equal to 1. There are the Mathematica commands for this.